Joe, you're good? Hello, hello. All can, right, perfect. Can everybody hear me? All right, we'll let some people sit down really quick. You, you just need to hear him. You don't need to hear me. <laughs> Here's well, my lovely model, Joe, from Brooklyn. Not he, much to look at. He likes long walks on the beach. No, I'm just kidding. Um, all right, cool. Sunsets, large I, dogs. <laughs> All right, everyone, thank you so much for joining us here today. We're pretty excited to talk about some products, some lightweight products, as we are continuing to think about project safety, Lady Crete's care for our contractors and their future health. And we just love lightweight. We just love expanding that. You know, started off with Multimax Light, LHT. We started doing 3701 Light Mortar, Skim Light, and then now our new NXT Level Plus Light. So very, very cool, exciting things. Our, we pretty much wanted to take our current NXT Level Plus, which is our premium self-leveler, which is good for concrete, plywood, OSB, no need for lath for any wood applications, just prime and go. So we said, well, how can we further push that technology? And then we decided, okay, let's create a lightweight self-leveler that pretty much does everything NXT Level Plus can do, but being lightweight. So it took about two years worth of development uh, it's a very hard thing to achieve. We had some very hard targets, but we're finally there. And with Latacrete, we, you know, we launch things at two different times of the year. We launch them you know, in February and July, and this is gonna be coming out in July. So expect this to start hitting uh, the shelves of all distributors around that time. Now, when it is literally half the weight of uh, NXT Level Plus. So when you even talk about bag weight, finish good, and also even install. So you're talking about our current NXT Level Plus is 55 pounds. So now you can expect the same size bag to weigh 27 pounds. So it's half the weight. And also your typical self-leveler cured dried per cubic foot is 125 to 130 pounds per cubic foot. This dries at 70. So you may ask like, why would you need a lightweight self-leveler? There's a lot of great reasons for it. You know, a lot of people are re reconditioning buildings who are, which are older and may not can take the brunt of uh, the standard weight of a self-leveler. So that's where this lightweights come in and they make those applications, you know, possible to get your finished goods down, which obviously with large and heavy tiles and all your other finishes are coming, you need the floors are flatter, flatter and flatter. And, uh, and we're very happy to say that the flowability of this product is very good. Typically, lightweights have a marshmallowy feel to them. They're kind of just like, you have to push them along. This one, it definitely flows very nicely. Um, some of the features and benefits is fiber reinforced, just like our NXT Level Plus. It goes up to three inches in one shot. So we've also noticed, noticed and Joe can definitely contest to this with some of the lightweight applications that we've done is that they're deep pores a so, lot. Yeah, a lot of the times. So we, we've been doing lightweights for years in self-leveling and we've had lightweight products for that. This product that's coming out now is the culmination of years of experience with these types of products and the challenges that we wanted to meet were not only to satisfy the engineer and the architect for reduced dead load, we wanted to meet of course the challenges facing the contractor, which is not having to carry around and manipulate and work with as big, as heavy of a bag or set of bags. But the real challenge was to get all those properties in a product that flows like a regular self-leveling. We don't want you to see the difference between the lightweight and our standard SLUs. And hopefully, that's what you will see and confirm for yourselves today. And it, it consumes its water quickly, because a lot of times when you start going with these deep pours, the engineer or the architect will ask, well, why not use lightweight concrete? Because it is so much slower, and it can take not days, but weeks or more for lightweight concrete. The, the aggregate that's used in a lightweight concrete is a very porous type of soft stone, a shale or something like that. We use an engineered aggregate, that is both lightweight but doesn't absorb a tremendous amount of water. So you still get the flowability, you still get the, the ability of a calcium aluminate product that gives up its water, but it pours out easily and um, it levels itself. And, and you can, hmm? We've, we've given Gilles about a space that's what? Yeah, sadly. Not, not as wide as the smoother itself. Do you, have any, do 
Do you have any more in the bucket? No, he actually used it up. So if anyone wants to just push it around on the second board, you're more than welcome to. Yeah. Joe's uh, comment about speed, it's it's great. And also, so this is walkable in three to four hours, and you can put uh, finished goods over it, more shoe sensitive finished goods over it at 24 hours. So one day later, you can start putting start putting your finished uh, goods on there, which are moisture sensitive. So yes, like any self leveler, it's going to do a lot of the work for yourself, but you also have to, you know, somewhat push it into place, finish it off, like Jill is doing right now with that spreader and smoother. So that's a dual function tool that we actually have in one of our toolkits, our Lady Creek toolkit. We give uh, we sell this bar 15 gallon barrel, which has the ability to carry spike roller, smoother spreader, gauge rake, which is a cam gauge rake, which is very exact. And we even have flexible spike shoes. So again, bringing you quality tools for quality installation. So if anyone wants to push it around just yeah, to get a feel up. for it, come up. Yeah, come up, come up. Let someone else play around with it. But you can see when Jill... Oh, 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 see, I uh, didn't try it. So, That's why Elvis and I are down here, because we can't get up on <laughs> the, the boost stage. everyone, The boost everyone up. I'm recovering from a leg injury, so yeah, yeah not so go. good. Um, good question. How many quarts? Four and a half to five quarts of water. Is our, yeah, so, yeah. Um, so it's real nice because, again, with a lightweight product, sometimes you're sacrificing strength. So thankfully, this one, we did not come to that compromise. We found that nice, delicate balance of dry weight, cure dry weight, which is a 70 pounds per cubic foot, and then uh, working with the compressive strength, which is average 4,000 PSI. So that's well enough to get you on pretty much any project. Um, and for a lightweight, it's up there. So at, even topping it off to like 42, 4,300 PSI. So that's also, just the average. No yeah, the, okay, the, so the question was, what's the difference between NXT Level Plus and Plus Light? The weight, pretty much. Oh, PSI, okay, yeah, so as NXT Level Plus is a standard self-leveler, well, our premium self-leveler, that one's about 5,500 PSI. So, 1,500 PSI, but again, it's half the weight. But in, in the world of, yeah, in the world of lightweights, it is significantly stronger than other products of, of, of comparable weight. Um, by the way, one thing about lightweights is that we hear a lot of talk when people say, well, why don't I just use a, and I'm going to say the word out loud, why don't I use a gypsum product? The myth Joe. that gypsum <laughs> is lightweight is just that. Gypsum is 110 to 115 pounds a cubic foot. Concrete is 145 pounds a cubic foot. A standard cement-based self-leveling is 120 pounds a cubic foot. This stuff is 70 and will still give you, is, is it close to 4,000 PSI? Yeah, it, yeah. Aver it, averaging at 4,000 PSI. A little less, a little more, depending on the amount of water they use. With any, and that's the same with any cementitious based product. Yeah. So. No respirable silica like everything or pretty much everything that Latacrete makes. That's part of our initiative. It's part of a health initiative as well as an application and usability initiative. So, no, we're really proud of this product. Again, it's taken a long time. We're really about the specs and trying to meet the, that demand that we were asking for, that 4,000 PSI and that 70 pounds or less. And we were able to achieve both of those items with this product. And again, it's just, it's pumpable as well. Um, you know, we do pump this product with our super cap system. And if Sweet. any of you don't know about the super cap system, that's our high volume pumping uh, truck that we have. And that can pump about 30,000 pounds of self leveler an hour. So if you have a very, very large space, very, very high, that's uh, another great option that we have for you to apply our products. So if Ma anyone's interested, this is your man. <laughs> Ma maximum thickness on this is three inches. And it needs to be three inches because who's gonna use a lightweight at a half inch? You don't have to. You, you <laughs> yeah. need a product that can... Oh, yes, it, it is. is more, it is yeah. more than yeah. double. Yeah, we're, it is more than double the yeah, original. Yeah, almost. Plus. Actually, Joe, uh, and believe it or not, the NXT Level Plus is a two-inch limit. So now this is one inch over. Right. So, yep, that's a new update too. It's two inches now. Yeah. Yeah. It I'm mixes sorry, what was well. Ah. Uh, probably. Yeah, we'll just have to go back. Yeah, because again, the yeah, P gravel is kind of throwing the whole weight thing off. Yeah. yeah. Pea, pea gravel weighs as much as a standard weight, self-leveling. Yeah. Three inches is pretty deep in, if, in one shot. If, yeah. you, <laughs> if you need to go more than three inches be, and in a lightweight application, you should do two layers instead of, because 
you're going to get a lot of weight from the aggregate. So it's actually easier. You can do two lifts of three inches. As a matter of fact, we welcome you <laughs> to do it six inches That would be deep. really great. We'd and I want to be there to really. see it too. No, I mean, we've done just done a lot of... Yes, sir. The question was, do you have to prime the floor? The answer is yes. Like almost any other self-leveling, you need to prime the floor. The good news is that it's the same primer that we use for our standard levelers and the same criteria where we use a drop, a water drop test to see whether the surface is porous or non-porous. It's the oh, yeah. exact same process as if you were using a standard. So, yep. so we have two options for priming just on that topic. So we have our prime and bond, which a lot of you in the tile and stone world would be very familiar with. That's our easy roll on primer, bonds the high, uh, difficult substrates to bond to. So like let's say if you have a well bonded substrate like tile and you didn't want to rip it up and, it, and uh, you could just self level over it by rolling it with prime and bond and then self leveling over it. Um, and then we have our NXT primer, which is Great for large projects. You, know, you mix it with water, so it goes a really long way. I mean, up to 1,500 feet uh, with a uh, by with five gallons. So, and that you put, typically put that in a backpack sprayer, and you kind of walk around and spray it on. It goes right into the substrate. Gives you a really, really great bond. I honestly uh, have never really even heard of an issue with us debonding or anything like that. It's a phenomenal, phenomenal primer. Knock wood. Knock wood. <laughs> no, so, no the, yeah. the the pri the primers that we make are meant for challenging substrates. Oh, did you? Okay. That, if anybody hasn't compared the two, you will feel the difference immediately. Yeah. So we have some nice samples walking around, uh, you know, going around <laughs> the, uh, the area over here. So that's our standard NXT level plus at half an inch, and then you're gonna see the weight comparison with uh, plus light. So literally half. Uh, About 124 pounds per cubic foot, I believe it yeah. is. Oh, no, wait, it's a 55 pound oh, bag. It's a 55 oh, oh. pound bag's mixed. Oh, I mean, whatever the weight of the water is, honestly, it's, a, it's, it's, it's literally half the weight. So your 55 pound bag with what, about 10 pounds probably yeah. worth of water. So you're so, at right. 65 pounds. 65 and now pounds versus 37. 37. 37. 37. Okay. Using 10 pounds as a nice round number for the okay. amount of water. So. Little things that we thought about along the way, why it takes a while to, to yeah. develop and get a product like this out. You mix it, the aggregate doesn't float to the top. You would think it's a simple thing, but when you have an aggregate that's so light to make a product lightweight, that's one of the shortcomings of some products like this. The aggregates float during the mixing process or they segregate during the pumping process. So we, we looked at it we wanted a self-leveling that happened to be lightweight, not just a lightweight that you'd have to sacrifice all the other properties. So now, uh, Joe is now moving on to our skim. So that's another lightweight. He had product. enough of listening to yeah. us about that. <laughs> no, um, <laughs> our new skim. So this is a product that we launched last year. We're this one was about two years in development as well. Skims are a very touchy-feely product. You know, you really, users are really critical on that product. So we got a lot of user feedback. We have done, we do a lot of field trials where we go out to end users and let them use our product even before it's launched and then we get feedback. And based on their feedback, we critique the products. So Skim Lite is extremely unique because it does so many different features in one. So again, it's 100, it can go on 100% RH concrete. So that doesn't affect it, it doesn't break it down and it actually could be used underneath moisture barriers as well. So a lot of people are smoothing out before they put a moisture barrier down because it's very costly to have a, you know, the waste moisture, uh, you know, epoxy moisture mitigation, going down cracks, filling in divots. So a lot of people are applying skin light before. It's fiber reinforced. It can go up to one inch. Come on it's up, man. It's caster wheel safe. Um, okay. It's fiber reinforced. So many things that I actually sometimes even forget about how many features it, it, it literally has. So it's a great all around product. It's coverage, it's eight pounds, but the bag itself is actually slightly larger. So it's about 13 pounds worth of, of, of volume of product, but it only weighs eight pounds. So your coverage is actually gonna be a little bit higher at the skin. So on a, extreme, on a nice rough surface like OSB or anything like that, you're probably gonna be getting around 190 to 200 square feet. Yeah, oh you did? Oh, thank you. And then um, 
it was just a, te a testament to the product actually getting around 200 square feet on the rough surface. And, and when it's semi, you know, semi flat and not so many divots, we're around 380 square feet at a skim. So extremely effective, nice creamy consistency. Um, we, again, we've worked on this one for an extremely long time and just the feel of it and everything else that we're trying to achieve. I think it just fits so perfectly well now with, you know, plus light, so. So yeah. that Thank 380 you. square feet at a true skim is a number that we were challenged on time after time after time because it is quite a bit of area and there are a lot of people that simply say, no, really I'm creamy. not used to getting that much coverage out of a bag of skim. So we tested it and retested it and did it again. And, and, and of course, it's at a, at a skim, not, you know, not an eighth, not a sixteenth, but enough of a skim that will take the imperfections out of a subfloor to be able to put resilient flooring on it. The other thing, <laughs> and this is a, a great Hold way to be able to save money with this particular product, is that because it can take 100% relative humidity, it can go underneath a moisture mitigation system. So instead of filling up nooks and crannies and divots with a very expensive epoxy that's $150 a gallon or, or whatever, whatever, it may be, whatever yeah. it may be, you're you're filling all that space with a much more cost-effective product. Yeah. So um, you know, averaging around 20-minute dry time, uh, we have a user up here who said it, it reacts very quickly and uh, dries. So again. Finished goods could go on around that time, obviously based on you know temperature, humidity, and whatever other stuff where it comes into play. But rapid product, uh, catching a lot of enthusiasm and, and starting to gain a lot of ground into the floor. And, and we honestly did not want to launch this game until we knew we had it right. And trust me, this again took about two years worth of development work. So, oh yeah, yeah. Another comment Thank was you the for smell. That Thank up. you very yeah. much. Yeah, no, the smell is a uh, uh, less odor than uh, some of the other skims on the market. So, by okay. the way, both of these products, both the um, the SLU, the the level the level plus light, and the and the skim light can both go over OSB, which is a more of a challenge than exterior grade plywood. And I won't mention any brands, but they can go over completely waterproofed OSBs which in certain markets are gaining a lot of popularity where the waterproofing makes them totally impermeable. We've done testing, both of these stick great to that particular type of the most challenging OSB. Um, no laugh. And, and those that know our level plus know that that particular product can go down to a quarter of an inch over wood without laugh instead of having a higher thickness requirement. Yeah. Um, this one won't go, same down, thing. To a, yeah, same go thing. down to a quarter. Same thing. Although again, whether you'd use a lightweight for a quarter inch application is questionable, but if you had to. Yeah, but you know, and the thing is, so I was literally, uh, yeah, last night we were out with a contractor and it's, it's funny, I mean, some of the elevation changes on some of these projects. I mean, you have a half inch on one side and three inches on the other side. So, I mean, really you need that product that's gonna cover all those bases it's really a large a large a wide application so it, it won't hurt your back any more than picking up a glass of whiskey <laughs> that's that's right about where we gauged it yep yep and then one last thing to kind of end the presentation again we keep on developing our tools you know we have the super cap truck we do have a pump rental program so if people are buying large amounts of self leveler Please talk to Joe Rizzo. He will be. He would love to talk to you. We do have a pump that we give out based on the size of the project and, and his length. Trying to cover all the bases, and we keep on going backwards now to a nice size production over here. Now with the new launched level, uh, the uh, Pro Cart and the uh, Pro Mix Station. So a little little pro tip, and obviously some of you guys even do that now nowadays. But you know, if this is elevated with a couple pallets you know two pallets six high seven high you put a, a piece of a four by eight on top of there you can position probably two of these mixing they stay st stationary and then you can have these carts just running back and forth to the location you're just dumping from from there to there and you'll be able to run dump the material and these never they never have to be disconnected from the electricity they can just stay mixing all the time so again another just like low level production production line if you will of just transporting the self leveler to the location efficient you know effectively and efficient we be we believe that the best thing that we can do for you 
is help you every step of the way, not from a salesperson perspective, not even from a technical mm -hmm. service perspective. Well, Laticrete has yeah, a lot idea. of people with contractor backgrounds that, that were true contractors that have, that have poured and humped and smoothed and pulled and, and used these materials extensively over hundreds of thousands of square feet. That's where we can, that, that's where we believe that we can be of the greatest assistance to you. We've got the product technology. Anybody that knows Laticrete knows how we work with product technology. The, the rest of that is to do everything that we can to make you better, safer, and more efficient. What's your minimum bag purchase for your smaller product? I'll be able to use that. I'll let, uh, minimum. We can, we can, we can we talk can about that. Yeah. yeah, we can absolutely talk about I'll that. Let that yeah, I'll, let yeah. sales, I'll let sales take that one. Huh? 12. <laughs> 12 <laughs> yeah. pumps? Hold on. I don't have oh, no. a calculator <laughs> that calculates that much material. But actually, uh, G uh, actually mentioned for yeah. something very he, great butter, demonstration butter just like, like that here. Yeah. So he good said I was his able-bodied, pretty assistant. That's what you get. <laughs> you get what you pay for. And then some of the uh, some of the specs on this: two speed, uh, 380, then 560 uh, RPM. Uh, has a vacuum, so you can hook up a shop back to it. So as you're pouring the, the material, it, it will evacuate the dust, so you're not getting hit with a bunch of dust. And it's a, like I said, a two-speed. So start off on low gear, get that material well mixed, hit into high, two, three minutes, you're good to go. So. Did you add a, a timer into the top of that? I did not add a timer on top of that, but that's a very good idea, actually. So. It, 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 cert <laughs> it certainly would beat dropping your iPhone into, yeah. not, not well, that I've ever done that, but. Do you? <laughs> Mix for six days. <laughs> so, are there any questions on any of the products that we just discussed? Yes, please. This? Uh, retail, uh, rough retail, about $2,300 is a rough retail, give or take. I'm sorry? Uh, so for NXT level plus light, it's 56 bags per pallet. Yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, no. You know, it's pretty funny you say that because I actually calculated uh, I, the other day, a full truckload would probably be about 29,000 pounds lighter if you transported uh, plus light into it versus standard self-leveler. Yeah. So, yeah, so that's a pretty big difference in, in the... Because because a typical truckload of self leveling is eighteen pounds. Eighteen pounds, yeah. and and sometimes it's even seventeen. Yeah. Trucks don't cube out until twenty four to twenty six. Again, it depends on the carrier and what the. So yes, you could take more material at a time to a job site. Jimmy, you had a question. Okay, so how many bags can you fit in the mixer? Three, comfortably, and then you know you can squeeze a fourth in there if you really needed to. So also too, I mean, like one thing to think about it, if you're pouring it, then, you know, based on the material, you know, plus light, no problem. But, you know, as you know, if you talk about standard self leveler, that's going to be 200 pounds worth of material in there that you're going to have to hold as you're pouring. <laughs> so, yes. yes oh, uh, on the uh, plus light. So uh, equivalent to our NXT level plus, which I think it's at uh, uh, coverage. I would say 22 at a quarter? No, it's more than that because it's a 55 pound bag, so it's I think 25. 25? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Three inches. Three inches thick. Yeah. You, yeah. Yeah. So you can go from a quarter inch all the way up to three inches thick. So, and then the 25 was at a quarter to give you an average, yeah. an idea. 25 of, square feet it is a one quarter, quarter inch? One quarter inch. Yeah. Yeah. No. No. No, just straight up, neat. a straight three inch. We obviously it defeats the whole purpose of the whole lightweight. You can, yeah, but you can, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, I mean, no. Uh, why are they? Uh, why three use the lightweight time. if you're adding an aggregate which has a higher density than even a standard self leveling? That's that's the only reason that you wouldn't. Can you do it? Absolutely. Yeah, no, it's a great what if. And then a uh, pretty cool demonstration right here. You can already see the skim light already kicking off and it's actually dried out. So 
That's probably 15. I, you guys are having way too much 10 fun. 10 minutes, okay? maybe. I need you to settle down. <laughs> <laughs> big, big Lady Creek users on the front row over here, so they're all excited. We do. We get excited. Yeah. And we thank you for it. Thank you. Uh, you can walk on NXT Level Plus Light in three to four hours. You can walk on it, and then you can start applying flooring at one day, 24 hours. No, no, it does not. We had a very good question. Does thickness matter in the drying time? And the answer to that is no, because in a good cement system that uses a cement that consumes all the water that you mix with it in the hydration process, you're not waiting for the material to actually dry. The water is reacting and hydrating with the cement. That's different than some other types of systems that might start with the G. Um, <laughs> that is the benefit of calcium aluminate. Yeah. More expensive option. In the case you have a deep pool, let's say the pool is stopped by the three, I guess they take three prime or another answer. Yep. And if you do it within six hours, you don't have to reprime. We recently did a four inch job, not with this material, with the standard weight. Yeah. If if you catch if you catch the timing of it right, and if it's a big enough job that they're going that deep, in that, you, you, you might even be able to time it so that it feels almost continuous. Because by the time you get to one end, you'll, you know, because you could do it at two hours or three hours. As long as the material is firm enough to step on and not leave footprints, you can go, yeah. It's, it's pretty important not to leave the footprints. Yeah. Um, <laughs> as you're walking through, I'm going for my second pour. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe not. <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> Any other questions? All great questions, though. Thank you so much. I mean, uh, those are very, very good. We. Okay, great. So we there's, appreciate everyone. There's I'm pamphlets uh, and sell sheets. So if you're interested in any of the products, please come talk to us. We've been talking about the Pro Mix Station, about NXT Level Plus Light at our booth, which is literally right there. And yeah, we're gonna hang out a little bit more too. So if you wanna come up and talk to us, please. That'd be Ladies great. and gentlemen, Mr. Elvis Torres. Thank you, thank you. Elvis has left the building. Elvis is leaving the building now. <laughs> I never heard that one before. <laughs>